Okay, hello and welcome back for more World of Warcraft. Did I do that every time? Uh, let us get this, finally get this done. Because last time I put these guys going when I didn't really, well, I really should not have done. Ah, uh, but I did get a few more points out of it though. So, it, what was it I needed the, for the quest? Uh, which one is it I need for the quest? High Lord's Command, Nemesis Complete. Uh, artifact. High Lord's Command, Nemesis. Here we go. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to double check before I actually send service. these guys out. So, yeah, let's go I ahead. The of the send them out. There we go. Get this quest done. It's going to take an hour to get done. Uh, the rest of these are three person ones. So, I couldn't do this even if I wanted to. Unfortunate. Unfortunate as it may be, but uh, one of my squire groups is gone, which means I can come back over here Welcome. and hire a brand new set of them. I wonder if uh, you end up getting more squires, more uh, secondary groups you can summon, because limiting it to three is a bit annoying. Uh, let's see. Was this guy? Yeah, there we go. Increase the chance for quest rewards to get rare or epic upgrade, non-repeatable. Ah. Uh. So, is this like an exclusive thing? Is can I only have one of one or the other? Okay, this requires 500 and will take one day. Uh, increase this chance. Be level 105. I'm guessing it takes. I guess it takes up that space. So. Same chance of, hmm. Can't do. Does that actually give me both of them, or does it only give me one? I don't really know. Uh. Yep, it only gives you one. Damn it! Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't want, want to do that. Oh no! All this time waiting for it to get done, and I just replaced it. Ah. Uh, but once I get it researched, is it done? Opened up permanently? Like, can I switch between them completely? No. No. Uh, yeah. that's That was a complete waste. Because research time one day cost 500. But I've already had it researched. It was opened up. It was researched, damn it. Is there any way I can cancel it? Uh. I don't want it. Damn it. No. Why? Why? Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. I was just curious, but my curiosity has bit me in the buttocks. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have to get... Wait a minute, why is this still... Oh, I have to wait for this to get done before I can do anything else. So, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Uh, I feel like an idiot now. I mean, I could have had all that double the chance of getting all my stuff upgraded. So much higher chance, but no... No, my curiosity got the better of me. And now I have to wait a day. I have to wait 24 hours before I can switch it back. And then I'm going to have to wait another 24 hours before it switches back. <laughs> before it actually finishes. Because apparently, after they do the research, they don't keep any notes. None of it matters. I mean, uh, <laughs> they spend 24 hours researching that stuff writing down all their notes, and then when they get done, they just throw it into the trash, apparently. Because, yeah, I'm going to have to research it all over again. What the hell? Ah, can't just quick switch it. I mean, having, like, a cooldown to quick switch would be fine, but why would I have to spend 24 hours waiting for it to work? Or do anything? And why isn't it still active while the other one is being researched? I don't know. Ooh, what's down here? Huh. Why can't I go in here? Oh, it just had not loaded yet. Okay, where am I going? Oh, oh, here we go. Here he is. Here's the quest I need to turn in. Uh, wait. What quest is it I need to turn in? Ah, this guy. I completely forgot to turn this in last time. So the hate, uh, hate coil hammer work stuff. Beginner's Laystone Smithing. Learn how to craft the following item. Pauldron and bless Breastplate. Wow. Very nice. Uh, extract something useful. 
That's sort of willing problem lies with uh Fortunately, I have no idea how to access any information in the core, but I know someone who does. Engineering shop does ah. So we just have to go down to the engineering shop. Okie dokie. Let's see what they have to say. Because this is all the stuff I picked up yesterday. Because uh, it was yesterday that I was recording. And I was going for like a two hours straight. And my voice was really starting to get a bit hoarse. Uh, shop, what does it want? One moment. Uh, I think you have some information. You may wish to divert your eyes. Life bless you. Right for the core, cross your fingers, and it doesn't explode. Okay. Huh. But yeah, I am liking the. Uh, I am in fact liking all these these uh, profession related quests and like that because it, I do like the. I have always liked doing the professions. All the way back in vanilla, they were always so much fun to do. Just running around, getting, uh, ooh, that is a nice hammer. But yeah, just running around, getting materials and crafting stuff and making well stuff. Be uh, careful. Core contains a script written in ancient uh, highborn dialect, which I can't read. Professor Payton describes them. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, I, I've always liked just crafting stuff and making stuff making my own items my own gear and my own weapons and like that and that's what I used to do in vanilla uh, and it was so much more important in vanilla Can I help you? since they didn't really throw gear at you left and right uh, as with a say floating directly above you hours pointing over details fasting nice screws suit or a simple task here uh, bring the list to you guys. Oh, there we go. But yeah, in vanilla, they didn't really throw gear at you left and right. In fact, there was like periods where you would get a new piece of gear for a particular slot for like 5, 10, 20 levels. Hey there. I mean, I remember going through something like uh, Dead Mines, getting a pair of blue pants for my paladin, and not replacing them until I was like in the 30s. When I got something out of Scarlet Monastery, so obtain six fox flower. If you're not able to, you can purchase fox flower in auction house, or you can obtain it from another player. Hmm. Ingredients, however, we learned. Ah. Okay, so we just need to go get some fox flower. Now I could hop on my alchemist, my herbalist, and just go get some. But I would have to go through all the quest line, go through all the stuff just to get to uh, Dalaran. So that's a bit annoying. But let us go to Ironforge, see if we can get some from the auction house. As long as it's not like a hundred gold per, which is probably how much it's going to be. Because that's the kind of crap that happens early on in expansions like this. Everything is just so crazy expensive. And I only need 10 of them. So 10 fox, whatever it was. So, oh, wait, I can fly here. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, they didn't really throw gear at you in vanilla. So all the stuff you could make, like the armor and the weapons, as a blacksmith, having all that uh, male armor in lower levels before 40, and all that plate armor in the 40 plus areas, Actually being able to craft it and make it myself was so nice because it meant that uh, paladin and cooking blacksmithing fox flower. Okay, fox flower. Because it meant I could actually have that. Have good gear along the way. No, not fox flower flux. I want actual fox flower. Assuming. Ah, here we go. But yeah, it, it wasn't until like Burning Crusade that they just started throwing uh, gear at you. That's two. That's three. And it was a very jarring thing coming from vanilla and just having massive upgrades every single friggin' quest. Uh, wait, I lost count. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four more, seven, 
8, 9, and 10. There we go. But yeah, it, in the vanilla quest, you would do quests, and they would either just give you gold, maybe experience, or they would give you a set item, a singular item, that had no bearing on what class you were, what spec you were. It was just an item that was available for that quest. And, yeah, that's that's just how the questing works. That's how the stuff worked in vanilla. You weren't just handed gear that was specific to your spec. It wasn't specific to your class, even. I mean, you could do a massive, long quest chain, and at the end of the quest chain, get a pair of cloth gloves, even if you were a plate wearer or a uh, mail or leather wear, they would just get these same cloth gloves. And it was the same for everyone. Every single quest was just like that. They all had the same quest reward, regardless of what class you were, regardless of what spec you were. Which meant that you could go out questing, and you wouldn't get an upgrade. You would get a pair of pants that was very nice, and you wouldn't get an upgrade to them for months, uh, for like 5, 10, 20 levels. Like I said before, I, I went through dead mines and didn't get a pair of pants that was better until well, well into the 30s. So yeah. But once you got to BC, all that stuff changed because suddenly every single quest gave a quest reward multiple choice quest rewards. Suddenly you had plate pants, plate ch uh, chest pieces, cloth pants, cloth chest pieces, all over the place. And every single quest gave you that kind of reward. Let's get further into the flux. There we go. Uh, Lee Smith Mastery. We have the flux, we can put it to work, see how it goes. Why don't you take a crack at this time? And let's build some handcrafted laystone gauntlets. Okay. So, handcrafted laystone gauntlets. Uh. How do I do the heated laystone? How do I make laystone bars? Ah. Okay, I just. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention, so I'd have to make four laystone bars. And then I make the laystone cuffs. I mean, I'm not used to having to make bars in my blacksmithing and in my blacksmithing interface here. I'm used to doing it in my uh, smithing, my uh, mining interface. So I just got to be confused right there. Okay, and this actually looks like elementium, huh? Okay, well, I I just never I did not really pay attention. So laystone cuff plate. Uh. Okay, well, I can see where this is going. I have to make each individual piece like this, apparently. So I have to make the cuff, times one, then I make the finger guards, and then I combine them into the gauntlets. Okay. Okay, that makes sense, actually. That actually does make sense. There we go. His workbench? Where's his workbench? Upstairs, maybe? Uh, where is his workbench? Where is Allard's workbench? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Here's his workbench. There we go. I wasn't... I had... It was covering up the workbench. The blacksmith window was covering up the workbench. There we go. And... Yeah. There is the quest reward. So, what's it look like? What? Burnt, exploded mess. Oh, what? It exploded again. It's the worth the new flux maybe wonders for the other craftable materials as well. Recipe list advanced. Boots, helm, gauntlets, and greaves. Ooh, I can make a full set of it. Very nice. Uh, now that we know the fox flower is flux is safe to use, we can start locking it up. Being said, I don't particularly feel like picking flowers. Do you feel like picking flowers? <laughs> Didn't think so. So go to the alchemist herbalist across the way. I'm sure you can set up some work orders arrangements. Okay. Huh. So I am liking this. I do like this. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, you ended up with so much 
uh, stuff in Burning Crusade. It was fairly I jarring, to be honest. Especially coming from... Uh, make sure to set some aside. Lindsay Black Bolt. Where's Black Bolt? I'm guessing the Alchemist. In here? Ah, here she is. Hi, how are you? Uh, and Blacksmith is a regular supply of fox flower. Can you make any? You. Uh, keep bringing me the fox flower preservation. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it, coming from vanilla into Burning Crusade was a massively jarring experience. Because, uh, you ended up getting massive amounts of gear in short succession. I mean, you just had gear thrown at you left and right. It, it was still not, uh, class specific and spec specific like it was in the pre it, like it is now and was in cataclysm and pandera and like that it was still just set pieces it, every quest gave the exact same set regardless of class and spec but it it had such a wide array of things you could choose from you you more than likely had something for your class for your spec in it and even if it didn't, it had something for that was either plate, mail, cloth, or whatever that you could still wear. So people got upgrades almost immediately, which was very nice. It was very weird having that much gear thrown at you, but at the same time, it was very really nice. And about your plan? Okay, let's talk to this guy. He was the only Titan Keeper who fought Loken during his betrayal. I found a very cool saga describing a powerful shield Tyr crafted for his very cool champion to carry into battle. Okay. I have some ability to speak with the long departed. We may be able to question the hero in this saga directly. Aye, that's my hope. With your help, we have a chance of finding this artifact. Ah, so this is the other artifact. I'm guessing it's the paladin shield hammer thing. Uh, but it is odd that so a lot of these things, a lot of the artifact weapons, are kind of unknown. I mean, we have the Ashbringer, which has been around since, well, forever, since the vanilla. Well, it's been mentioned since vanilla. Maybe even before, but all the other weapons are kind of just being thrown out there. I mean, I've never heard of the shield or the weapon with it on shield heal in F Howling Fjord. Ah, oh, Howling Fjord! So we're going to Howling Fjord. Okay, okay. the Sunwalkers for aid. And I have come. May my presence bring success to your quest, Ori. Why are you still talking? How are you still talking? I'm I'm far, far away from you. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the weapons that have been added as artifact weapons are either kind of new or just being pulled out of nowhere. I mean, like this shield. I'm, I, have, I have not heard of this shield. Was it like mentioned during Wrath of the Lich King or something? And I just never paid attention? I mean, it very well could have been, but I have never, don't remember ever hearing about it, so, yeah. Uh, Worm Rest Temple, here we go. So yeah, it, a lot of the weapons they've added for the class weapons, for the individual spec weapons, are just being added out of nowhere, it seems, in some cases. And it's, it's funny, because these are supposed to be like legendary artifact weapons, but... They aren't all that much legendary as they are just being created on the spot for the sake of it. Uh, okay, well, looks like we're just flying over to Howling Fjord, straight down here. Uh, and I always found it faster just to fly straight on instead of taking the flight points. Mainly because when you take the flight points, they tend to take a scenic route around to interconnecting flight areas. You go from here to there to there. Like you go from here to there and then it connects up to there. 
So, yeah, just fly straight there on my own. I always found it slightly faster. Instead of taking... I mean, they, the flight points do uh, fly a bit faster. The flight point mounts do fly a bit faster. But, yeah. Well, I guess this is going to be a long, long trip to get down there. So, I guess I'll cut this out and come back when I am.